guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I actually just found this on my desk and what it is is it's a sewn signature that I made a long time ago and um, I decided to make it into a glue book. So I sat here and just started doing my glue book process. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick flip through on this. Now, one of the things that I wanted to mention is you guys have asked me about um, doing more grab and glue process videos. Um, if you're interested in this, definitely leave me a note below and let me know. Um, this is all texture. This is um, a set of stencils that my husband had made for me. So they have to do with my chronic pain, which turn out really cool. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in learning more about my grab and glue process and you know how I do some of the things that I do, definitely leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll see what I can uh, get together for you. Some of this is just playing around drawings. Um, <laughs> I like these funky birds. Um, yeah, this is a big stamp that I had. Uh, this is just a variety of stuff. This is leftover fabric that I was using. I made ties for on my curtains. And this is magazine images. And yeah. So, you know, just when you play around in your grab and glue books, just remember it's it doesn't have to be a finished masterpiece. It really doesn't. Um, this girl I cut out of something, again, that rose stencil. And this says, or stamp, and it says, there was this perfect storm of hormones and emotion. <laughs> I just thought that fit that page. I don't know why. This is just some of the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper that I've got. It says, you made no dramatic gestures, gave no solemn lectures. You simply made the tea and fetched the biscuit tin. I believe this is from uh, uh, Diane Reevely, uh, one of her stamp sets. So yeah, it's just play. You know, I played around with whatever happened to be in my junk box at the moment and, you know, threw on some words. Again, these are from a magazine, Somerset Studio, I believe. Same with this. Kitty Cat came from another magazine. That came off uh, something I bought, a piece of clothes or something. Again, out of a magazine. This is just all funky backgrounds, which I thought was really cool. Took some washi tape and then found this guy in my drawer and I thought he, you know, worked well. So, you know, like I said, again, it's not something you have to plan out. Um, this is all texture. It's bead gel. That was in a magazine. This came out of like a, I don't know, taste of home or something like that. And then I found this in a magazine. I thought that's perfect. Again, odd and end magazine stuff. And then just... This is magazine, which I thought was cool. But yeah, and then this, on the back, this original piece of paper, um, there we go. This was the original piece of paper, and I had found in this painting that was here, I had found this lady, <laughs> so I just outlined her, but she ended up upside down on this book. But hey, it's all good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and leave those comments. Let me know what you'd like to see on the grab and glue process. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.